A portal connecting the city of Dublin, Ireland to New York City, USA, has been unveiled as of the 8th of May. It's part art display, part interactive webcam, as the company behind it, Flatiron Nomad, describes each portal as forging a real-time visual bridge between New York City and Dublin. And of course, it has not taken long for people to treat this webcam bridging two sides of the world as a gigantic Omegle or chat roulette experiment. And just like Omegle or chat roulette, anything from public drunkenness, nudity, and the reminder of certain aviatic events that changed airport security forever seem to be fair game, as there are tons of videos of Dubliners really sticking it to Americans on the other side. Side. Of course, there are also New Yorkers getting down and dirty and doing ridiculous stuff on their end, but it would appear the location of the portal in Dublin is quite close to a lot of pubs and entertainment. This, coupled with the differing time zones whereby Dublin is often partying late at night, means drunken shenanigans are extremely likely to be popping off at all times. In fact, I'm extremely surprised neither portal has been destroyed yet, as it must be tempting for a drunken person to start going ham on the sculpture. This behaviour inspired by strangers interacting with one another, and ways of preventing it, is explored in the article Understanding User Behaviour at Scale in a Mobile Video Chat Application, which takes a look at an application similar to the portal in an app built called MV Chat. The authors found, normal users are highly correlated with using the front camera and showing their faces, whereas misbehaving users tend to hide their faces, and females were just as likely to misbehave as males. What's interesting is that the portals are technically just gigantic front-facing cameras, and yet they seem to be experiencing silly loads of bad behaviour anyway. It seems the fact that humans are likely to start slinging mud at one another if given the chance has been proven on an academic scale, although perhaps this occurs because there's a perceived harmlessness to annoying someone else through the safety of a screen. On the other side of the spectrum, there are people who have been able to make a genuine connection with strangers, or friends and family living over in Ireland or America, which is really sweet. There's something about walking up to a giant portal as a proper location to see someone you know that feels more real than just calling them via social media. In short, the portals between New York and Dublin have become a microcosm of social media. Whilst the majority of it is just people waving at one another, there will always be some who want to get a reaction by any edgy means necessary. What meme would you guys like me to give a lesson in next? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, like and subscribe! <laughs>